Hey, it's Carson from Mavis Revolt Wagon. Just want to give you a quick tour of our 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Just put the story here shortly. So this right here is our 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is a Laredo edition here. Gonna be powered by 3.6 natural aspirated V6. Also gonna be powered by five speed automatic transmission. Very nice SUV here. We just lowered this price to 9995. So pretty competitive pricing there. On this one, we're selling it as traded. Uh, so just due to the year and mileage, um, we're just selling as is. So meaning instead of selling it to wholesalers, you get a chance of buying it yourself here at a wholesale price. So typical headlights here. That's how fog lights did try turning on the fog lights on. Looks like they are potentially burnt out um, on that case. So I might need a fog light replacement there or bulb replacement. Jeep badging in the front, chrome grill. Again, seeing if there's any chips, not that many in the front, which is surprising for black because black obviously you got to maintain and everything there too. We wise get this five spoke wheels. They are 17 inches, MS and also with the snowflake. We're using on winters, look like winters there. Guys, tired these so pretty decent. Grand Cherokee badging with the chrome on the side here. Does have your keyless entry on both driver and passenger side as well. Heat and mirrors. Again, with the Grand Cherokee, this is the bigger SUV that Jeep does offer in the vehicles here. Gas caps on the left side here. Very nice looking SUV. See here the rear end. Does take flex fuel. If you don't have flex fuel in your area, regular does work as well. 4x4 Laredo badging in the back. Single exhaust there too as well. If I look in the back. It's got decent amount of trunk space in here. Again, you can fold the seats back and we're kind of recline them a bit too for a little bit extra space. Down here, typical stuff. You got your tire and your jack, uh, jack there too as well. So passenger side, gonna be not much different than driver side. Not seeing any big dings or anything like that. Except for a scratch right there. Again, kind of hard to see. And one right there too as well. Rear space, but they're still pretty good in condition for this year. It's got cup holders and armrests in the middle. It does have a little ding, a uh, little hole in the leather too as well. Cup holders, armrests, does come with vents. Little storage compartment here too, and on the driver's side too. Again, you can see you can kind of recline them and everything too. Uh, whatever personal preference is there. Passenger side, as you can see, Little badging on both front seats there. More buckety seat, so you are more snugged in. Cover Jeep mats there. And then you got your typical power locks, power windows, storage compartment down there. So moving on to the main part, the driver's side. So the driver's side is gonna come with power just seats here. Again, this does have driver just about lumbar. So moving that moves in and out uh, just for your lower back. Window, mirror controls, window controls here, lock controls there, parking brakes on the left side there. All your light settings are going to be here too as well, and also button for your gas cap right there. That's what the cockpit will look like. It does have a cracked windshield too as well. But gauges has 197, 808 kilometers. Nice looking gauges that you just offer in the vehicles. Leather at steering wheel. Cruise control settings on the right side here. Settings for all the screen stuff there. But again, personal preference, wiper stuff here. It is push start. Does have your infotainment screen with the aux cord and everything too. Climb control settings here. Traction button off there. Storage compartment in here. Kind of pretty deep in there for phones and everything. You can see your 12 volt there. Five speed automatic transmission again. Two cup holders, more storage compartment here. And more in here as well. But that is majority of our 2012 Grand Jeep Cherokee. One thing too as well, previous owner looks like they installed an aftermarket back camera. Thing is, whoever put the plates back on, they screwed it upside upside down. So I just need to put back up, but it does work there. So thank you for watching my quick video walk around on our 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee. If you have any questions, if you want to stop by just to check the vehicle out and sure it is right for you, either give me a call or text on my direct number at 604-832-8768. Talk to you soon. Bye now.